If you like playing football games, EA's FC24 has got to be on your list. But it's not the easiest thing to run. My name is Yadula. You're watching Gardero Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can fix DirectX errors when running FC24. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually ensure that FC is using our dedicated GPU in order to run. So to do this, press Windows key plus I to open settings and we are just going to search for graphics settings in here. So search for it and click the first option that appears. Now in this list of apps that you'll see, you are going to have to find FC24. It should automatically be there, but if it isn't, just head over to uh, add an app. Make sure you select desktop app and click browse and then go to wherever you've saved uh, the executable file for the game. Once you're here, uh, click on options and now you'll get a few uh, options to choose from. Uh, you can let Windows decide. So Windows can automatically pick whatever is the best processor uh, to use, uh, whether it's your uh, dedicated or integrated GPU. I like uh, running my games on my dedicated GPU because that gives you the best performance and no direct text errors. So just make sure that your dedicated GPU is selected here and go ahead and click save. Uh, once you're done, just give your PC a restart and it should be up and running without any problems. If that does not fix the error for you, what we're going to do is very quickly check file sanity of the game. So uh, just open up Steam, assuming you've gotten the game from Steam. We're going to find it in this list right here. Right click, head over to properties. Then click on installed files and you will see the verify integrity of game files option right here. This uh, is the option that we use uh, to make sure that all of the files that the game needs to run properly are installed and up to date. So just click this steam will run a quick download and everything should be up and running. So this combined with the graphics fix should get your game running in no time. Next step is to actually run a GPU driver update because sometimes outdated GPU drivers also cause this issue. Now, depending on whether you have an Intel AMD or Nvidia GPU, you're going to have to use the corresponding tool. I have an Nvidia GPU, so I'm going to use the Nvidia app, then head over to drivers, go all the way to the other side and you will, you can now either reinstall the driver if you've already got the latest one installed, check for updates or uh, select the type of driver you want. Just make sure that you've got the game ready driver and not the studio driver, because if you're playing games, the game ready driver is going to give you much better stability and performance. Last but not least, if none of this has worked for you, your best option out of this might be a Windows update. Uh, to check for that, just press Windows key plus I to open Windows settings. Head over to Windows update right here. And uh, as you can see, I've got a ton of real tech updates ready to install. None of these are um, going to affect my games in any way, shape or form, because as you can see, they are for different things. But uh, you can just click on the check to update button just to make sure that you have any updates that you need. Additionally, you're also going to want to check your uh, Visual C++ redistributables. How do we do that? Well, press Windows key plus X. To open the quick access menu and then click on installed apps. We'll wait for this list to load up and now if you scroll down a little you will see all of these files which are your visual C++ redistributables and these are files that your system uses to run a bunch of programs. Just uh, find the latest one that you have, go all the way to the end, click these three dots, click on modify and if this doesn't work you can just move on to another one because there might be a bunch of other files here. As you can see, this one works. I just go ahead and click on repair. Let the wizard do its thing and uh, FC24 should start working without a problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you on the next video.